Hey everybody, Vampire1444 back again. Uh, been a little while, but uh, I'm back. Um, been busy with work. So, I've got a few things here, mainly Blu rays, uh, one DVD. But uh, I'll start off with a uh, big shout out to Scum76, aka Pete Graham. Um, he recently had a competition on his channel. And one of the prizes was the 30th anniversary collector's edition of Blade Runner. And uh, I won! Hey! So that is what I won. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, great little box set. We get the little car. And there's actually four versions of the film on this. You get the um, Blu ray of the final cut. From 2007, uh, Blu-ray original theatrical cut from 82, international theatrical cut from 82, and the director's cut from 91, as well as like uh, bonus discs, and you also get a nice little booklet showing you some of the art and everything. So really well chuffed with that. So thank you very much, Scum. Much appreciated, and fantastic channel. I'll put the link and below so go check his channel out really good really great fella so we'll get on to the other stuff now um, my one DVD is See No Evil 2 I've never seen this uh, seen the first one and I liked the first one uh, so I eventually got round to getting this one um, it's got Daniel Harris and Catherine Isabel in it so I'm hoping it'll be okay. Yeah, obviously Kane's back in it. So we'll see what that's like. I'm gonna watch that uh, probably in about an hour or so. Uh, but either this or the next one first. I haven't made up my mind yet. And my next one is Record Apocalypse. Now I'm a big fan of this series. Uh, I thought that absolutely brilliant. Apart from the third one, I didn't like the way that that went into like a bit of a comedy. I wasn't wasn't too pleased with that. I didn't really fit with the other two, but it was still a good film. Uh, and this looks like it's back to being a serious film, so I'm hoping this is hoping for some good stuff from this. So I will let you know on that one. Uh, Next one, it's a double feature, a Blu-ray DVD combo, a combi pack. I had to get this from America, and that is the Video Dead and Terror Vision. Oh, what can I say about these? Um, I like them. I probably preferred the Video Dead more than to Terror Vision because you can tell Terror Vision was made on a small, small budget. Probably just enough to pay the actors and a little bit left over for the small special effects. It kind of reminded us of a, a daytime soap. You know, the way they acted and the way the, it all looked. Um, it wasn't like the most expensive thing ever. But uh, I preferred the video dead. It looked better, better acting. Uh, I kind of preferred the storyline more as well. But the TV that only shows one film over and over, and eventually the creatures from the from the film, well, the zombies, some of them escape, come into like real life, uh, more entertaining. Would have been better if it had been like a a straight laced film instead of having the, like the little comedy elements. Um, but still, enjo thoroughly enjoyed both of them. I thought they were both really nice films. So that's the video dead and terror vision. Uh, the next ones I haven't seen but I'm really looking forward to them. Uh, it's the eight from 88 films Don't Go In The Woods Alone. Now I've heard really bad things about this 
a lot of people saying it's crap like really low budget crap film but I kind of like stuff like that from the 80s like um, I'm a big 80s slasher fan so going to be watching that sometime over the over the weekend uh, see what it's like I hope you get, you get some good bonus stuff on this by the looks of it uh, collector's booklet uh, talk show appearance the making of the film so I'll see what it's like this is number three so yeah the same with Slaughterhouse but he's got a big axe I think I saw I can kind of remember this I think or I'm probably thinking of a completely different film but I might have seen this years ago but I'm not too sure it sounds familiar when I read when I was reading the back it sounds familiar but I'll have to I've got to watch it again yeah I've heard some good things about this so I'm hoping it's well worth the watch again plenty of bonus features yeah buddy meets the public collector's booklet uh, Jerry Enko interview war on set footage I think or no smoking trailer, so we'll see what that's like. So yeah, looking forward to that at Slaughterhouse. And the next one I wanted to see for a while, but never, I've never, I've never got it. And I'm tempted to get the remake with Rebecca Demoni because the trailers for that looked quite good. And that is Mother's Day. Finally got it. Uh, like I said, I've been wanting it for a while. I've heard some good stuff about it, so but every time I went to get it, the prices uh, it'd been like really, really stupid or like really hard to get. So I'm really, really looking forward to watching this again. It'll be over the next couple of days. Now, if you notice, most of these are still wrapped. That's because they came yesterday. Uh, but we've got a postman who who just decides to come when he wants, and he didn't turn. These didn't get delivered till I think it was about half past five, quarter, quarter past half past five last night. So I, so I didn't really watch any last night. So that's why pretty much most of them are still wrapped up. Um, but yep, yeah, Mother's Day, fantastic film. Looking forward to seeing that. And next one is one. I'm, I don't like the case on it, but unfortunately this company that releases them network only does like little thin cases. And it's the same with my dad's comedy films when he orders, and they're from this company as well. But this is Cat Girl, starring Barbara Shelley, and it's a remake of Val Luton's Claire Cat People. So I'm looking forward to seeing what this is like from 1957. Uh, no special, well, special features, original theatrical trailer, image gallery, promotional material, so there's, there's an out. Um, so yeah, I want to see what that's like, because I like uh, the original Cats people. Um, the, the, the remake with Natasha Hendridge is... It's okay, yeah, I'm not a big fan of it. But I really like the original, so... I want to see what this is like. Uh, this one I have watched. Uh, I've, I've had it for a, a couple of weeks now, I think. Um, and that is Dracula Untold. Now, I was quite surprised because I've seen I Frankenstein and thought, what an absolute pile of crap. And I was half expecting this to be a pile of crap as well. Um, but it wasn't. It, wasn't it uh, too bad a film? I, I quite enjoyed it. I mean, it's it's nowhere near as historically accurate as what you would expect, but uh, it's just a great little fun horror romp, basically. Uh, basically, just um, I was kingdom threatened by the Turks, so he make, makes a deal with this creature, uh, Charles Dance, that lives in a cave. He becomes a vampire and fights the Turks. 
not a bad little film, I really enjoyed it. Now the next one, this is absolutely brilliant, absolutely brilliant. It's my third favourite uh, silent film of all time, by Nosferatu and uh, Phantom of the Opera. And that is the ultimate collector's edition of Metropolis in the steel case. Um, I think it's a limited edition of 5,000 copies I think it is and I have number, what is it, 3,870 and this is absolutely fantastic. If you're a fan of this film, you, there's no excuse, you've got to get this. Uh, for the main reason it's got uh, an extra 25 minutes of footage that was found in the 90s in Argentina and you get a booklet 56 page booklet that tells you about how it was found and what they did to go through to get it uh, um, put on the film uh, authenticated sorry <laughs> that's a word I was looking for uh, and how it got put onto the film uh, you can tell the new, the new parts because the older parts obviously have been looked after and and all that uh, where well, the new parts were just left so when you're watching it when the new parts are added in you can see like the little grainy footage it looks like it's more grainier um, but it doesn't do anything to take anything away from the film it actually adds to the film because like I say 25 minutes you know uh, massive chunks of the film taken out for that um, but there's a, a bucket load of extras on this well worth it and inside here there's a code and if you send an email to the address and put the code you get in entered to a competition which I believe finishes the end of March and if you're the winner you, um, you win a gold, solid gold bar with Metropolis stamped on it so I've done that, <laughs> done that as soon as I got it um, so yeah absolutely love this film absolutely fantastic if you've never seen it watch it it's brilliant absolutely brilliant especially for the time it was made the special effects on it and the next last two uh, first of all is the steel book of Edgar Allan Poe's The Pit and the Pendulum with Vincent Price I love Vincent Price he's a great actor and this is a, a canny film not the best one he's done, but by no means the worst either. I really, um, I really like this film. I haven't watched it yet. Well, I haven't watched the the Blu-ray version of it yet. I think I've got I've got the DVD version across there, so I'm going to be watching this. Get a load of extras with it. So yeah, really pleased with that and the price as well. It did go up to seventeen pound, but. Uh, I got this one and the next one from Zabby and for some reason they dropped the price down to 12 quid so snapped it up. And the final one, still wrapped up, is Vincent Price again and it's Theatre of Blood. Again, brilliant, brilliant film with, uh, with Vincent in it. Great cast as well, you've got Diana Riggs in it and Peter Morley. Great scene with Peter Morley and his little dogs. Not going to spoil it if you haven't seen it. Uh, I highly recommend this film. I think it's a great film. And and as always, you get a bucket load of special features on it as well. So, yep, really pleased with them. Um, I've got a few more things that I want, and I'm going to be ordering. But also, in case anybody doesn't know, Zavi. I've got a limited edition of uh, that Prince of Darkness coming out in June. It's a steel book. Uh, it's limited to 2,000 copies. So if you're interested, I would hurry up and order, yeah, which I already have pre ordered mine. Because, like I say, there's only 2,000 copies of it. So, so yeah, uh, that's it. Um, so, thank you very much. Uh, I'll have another one for you probably next month probably um, cause, cause like I say there's a 
few more films I want so I shall see you then uh, thank you very much for watching and cheerio